What an interesting read. Which one? Annual and birth chart planetary positions. Yes. Could I ask you a few questions if you don't mind? That's what I'm here for. My first question is, what are some of the aspects in a person's life affected by the position of the planets? Do you mean in terms of their birth chart or annual? Both. You can go with annual first. All right. So when it comes to the annual position of the planets, a person's entire life that for say a full year, they have to be careful what they are doing at particular points of time. For example, if the, uh, the monetary aspect of their life is a little on the lower side, they need to ensure that Jupiter, the planet of money, is inclined towards giving them money and not taking it away, which means it's not in, you know, going in a backward motion. Uh, similarly, when it comes to relationships, you have Venus or communication, you have Mercury. So when it comes to a birth chart, the, the way the planet is positioned decides on how a person is going to be over a period of time. This could include the basic nature of a person, uh, the kind of profession they're going to get into, the kind of relationships they're going to be enjoying or not enjoying, uh, the kind of things they need to work on in themselves, so on and so forth. So both these aspects, yes, um, I am not someone who is heavily into planets, but we do use a lot of uh, the planet. Like for example, for money spells, we have the planet gods of Jupiter. So we do use a lot of planetary influence and positions when it comes to spell casting. And the person's family color is also decided to. Absolutely. Um, well, that's another topic, but. Uh, we do have the video on YouTube. The people who are born under Jupiter have blue as their candle color. Born under those born under uh, Mercury, their candle color is purple. Those born under the planet Moon, we consider Moon to be a planet. Their candle color is white. Those born under the Sun, it's yellow. Those born under um, Saturn, it's black. So on and so forth. How do annual planetary positions affect a person's life? Uh, I cannot begin to uh, stress on the fact that for a person in 365 days, in 12 months in a year, there will be times when you will have a high, when you will have a low, that zigzag pattern will immediately affect your vibes. You've just gotten a promotion, high vibe. You come back home, and uh, you see that the water has overflown from the sink, low vibe. Um, you get good news from a relative, high vibe. It's constant change. It's constant change and you, you, you have to deal with it because your, your mind, body and spirit will automatically act or react to the outside environment. Straight away come back and ground and center yourself. Bring yourself back to the center. There are many ways to do that. It's something like sitting with a slouch or sitting with a... You see the difference? I'm slouching like this and then I'm sitting upright. There's a difference, right? So when it comes to your annual cycle in terms of planetary positions, every time a planet is going up and it doesn't matter whether you're okay with it or not, whether you believe it or not, just like the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, it has nothing to do with your belief or faith. Similarly, the way a planet is moving will also decide on how your annual life is going to be, right? A lot of people go ahead and have it done. In, it's like buying a new diary for the new year. Some people have it done way in advance for the next year or the next few years. Don't forget that even the tides happen because of the, of the moon, the planet moon. Because when the moon is full is when the tides are really, really high. How does a birth chart give you a broad layout of what to expect and work on? So a birth chart, it means that when a person is born, a particular planet was in a particular place up in the heavens, up in the skies, and that is called the planetary position. So that's, and the whole chart is like a diamond diagram, so it's divided. I'm talking about Vedic astrology, right? So here, uh, say and you have houses so you have a first house a fifth house a fourth house a second house you know and the way the planet is positioned in which particular house in combination with another planet or standalone decides 
on many aspects in fact all the aspects of a person when when what are they prone to in terms of sickness what are they prone to in terms of psychic attacks for example one five and nine houses remember that if those houses are not strong in a person's birth chart they are prone to psychic attacks so you will have to have you know black magic reversals done heavy doses of protection done and all through their lives because that's that's their birth chart uh, condition similarly you have a person who has to do nothing but just sit and uh, twiddle their thumbs literally and you're like i work so hard from day to night why is this person making so much of money it's because jupiter is in the right house so the money planet right so it does play a very important part and uh, no it cannot be changed but yes you can work on it there are remedies to improve on the condition that that's always there so it's not an impossibility but it's definitely something that happens but how does it tell you what to work on if there is a remedy required uh, in a uh, the example that i gave you if the person's birth chart has uh, 159 uh, houses uh, then uh, you know the they need to work on their protection they need to work on their confidence they need to have some level of uh, a point in their life where they feel that they are not you know covered with fear they need to be under the guidance of protection of a higher power whatever whoever's belief is that doesn't matter but that belief has to be there if there is somebody who's who has uh, a planetary position in which the jupiter planet is not in a good place it's not in a place where uh, they can make as much money as they want to then the remedies that are created for them by an occultist practitioner will be done to enhance that to work on that so it's something like you know um like you have your strengths and you have your weaknesses some planets will be positioned in a strong way some pla- planets will be positioned in a weak way but you are given remedies to ensure that the weak ones are taken care of so that you don't suffer too much what does retrograde mean and why should it matter to us i was expecting that question it's very very interesting so a lot of you uh, have heard of the term retrograde right it means that the planet is moving in a backward motion which logically is impossible so retrograde means that the motion of the planet has slowed down because the planet's motion has slowed down many things start affecting a person's life for example if the mercury planet mercury goes into retrograde you are asked not to have contracts and you know documents signed or have conversations or conferences or talks with people i'm not saying avoid communi- uh, communicating or conversing with people completely but you really have to put in the effort to think before you speak even for people who are born under the planet mercury because it does affect your speech your way of speaking your way of communicating whether it's written or on paper uh, or or spoken uh, similarly when it comes to uh, the planet saturn in fact uh, from uh, july to november is when this year the planet saturn is has gone uh, has gone already on retrograde what happens during this time is you might see issues being caused in terms of health in terms of finance saturn gives a lot of money but you should know how to work the planet how to appease the particular gods and deities and um it's very important to know that saturn is one of the few planets that also teach you something you make a mistake you learn from it you don't keep pulling yourself down and bringing your vibe down you also learn a lesson from the mistake that you've made so yes that does um matter a lot retrograde is a small word with a huge connotation so whenever there's a planet going on retrograde study the meaning of the planet and what it is what does it uh do and how it affects you and see if you can work on those aspects if you do then you will because it's a temporary phase right you will cross it eventually and my last question is does everyone have to uh, get a birth chart made well for some people it could be a little difficult if we were talking about the olden days but now everything is accessible through the internet through social media sites 
you have some astrologers who are doing it i wouldn't recommend that you have an electronic one done you know like uh, you go online and you put in the details and then you get an email uh, i would rather that an astrologer who you trust takes out your birth chart um, i know of some but they're not on uh, the net um, and uh, they are in certain parts of india and uh, they don't even know how to operate the internet but coming back to your question i know of some people who are doing absolutely fine without even having their birth charts made and some people who have had their birth charts made but they are also doing what they are supposed to do following their path and uh, it doesn't seem to affect them much so it's kind of a uh, a debatable discussion here personally um no i wouldn't say that everybody has to have it made having said that there's no problem if you have it made either so these are your questions did i answer all of them yes and all right you. you're very welcome and for those of you who have any more questions to ask please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below thank you and see you at rakhaina